During H1 FY2020, we recorded a beer volume growth of 26.2% Y-on-Y basis to 51.8 lakh cases and an IMFL volume growth of 91.1% on y basis to 6.7 lakh cases. Our revenue for the same period recorded a growth of 37.4% on a Y and Y basis to reach two six nine eight million rupees. Our EBITDA for H1 FY20 stood at three seventy three million, a growth of fourteen and a half percent on a Y on Y basis. EBITDA margin for the period, that is Q2, was thirteen point eight percent compared to sixteen point six percent in the same period last year. Decline margins can be primarily attributed to input cost inflation coupled with a higher proportion of new glass bottles uh, due to the expansion in the facilities on a pan India basis. Act for the first half of the year grew by 19% on a Y and Y basis to 170 million with a margin of 6.3% packed for the period included benefits of recent corporate tax cuts. Our analyzed utilization levels were at 68% for beer and 40% for IMFL on a consolidated basis. The beer facility at Bhopal operated at peak capacity levels. The Nazca facility operated on an annualized utilization level of 52% and the Orissa facility which has been started this year operated at around 30% percent of the annualized utilization levels. The business environment for the beer industry, particularly in the second quarter, was very difficult. Second quarter was characterized by weak economic sentiment, uh, monsoons, particularly in the high growth regions, as well as a higher input cost prices on, on our main raw materials. Q2 is a cyclically weak quarter for us and extended monsoon played further dampener, impacting the demand for beer in most of our key and growing markets. We continue to experience cost pressures on our retails, particularly glass bottles and barley, which has impacted our gross margins during the second quarter. Third quarter is also a seasonally slow quarter for us and with the prevailing challenges, we expect Q3 to experience similar issues. However, an improvement is expected in the fourth quarter as we start preparing ourselves for the peak season demand and the summer. We would like to update you that we are in the process of installing a canning line for our beer plant in Orissa and we expect it to be operational by late Q3 FY20. This will help us in supplying the better SKU mix as well as will enhance gross margins for this facility, which will start reflecting from Q4 FY2020. Our performance during the first half was as per management's expectation, and we further strengthen our view on the performance on the remaining part of the year. We have already made significant investments for the next phase of growth, and the focus would be to generate returns on these investments and to capture more market. With this, I would like to hand over Nakul, uh, who would run you through the detailed numbers. Thank you, and over to you, Nakul. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our H1 FY 2020. Moving to our financial performance, our consolidated total income for the first half of FI 2020 was rupees uh, 2698 million, representing an increase of 37.4% compared to the same period last year. This growth was achieved despite the production in quarter two, where beer revenue increased by 31.6% year on year to rupees 2264 million. IMFL revenue stood at rupees 420 million, an increase of 79. 9% compared to the same period last year. 
our consolidated EBITDA was in period increased by 14.5% year over year to Rs. 373 million. The EBITDA margin for the period was 13.8%. We were able to achieve this margin despite the prevailing cost pressures for barley and new glass bottles. Higher employee costs pertaining to new markets also had on our margins for the first half of FI20. Interest costs for the first half increased by 40.8% to Rs. 75 million. Depreciation expenses increased by 35.3% to Rs. 52 million in the first half of FI2020. This increase was primarily attributable to the higher depreciation on the Odisha facility. Our consolidated PAT was Rs. 171 million. Uh, an increase of 19.1% year on year with a margin of 6.8. Our gross margin for quarter 2 FY 2020 declined by approximately 700 basis points, primarily on account of input cost inflation. The prices of glass bottles had increased to the tune of 15% as compared to same period last Barley and sugar costs have also increased uh, substantially. Uh, during this period, our EBITDA for the quarter was Rs. 82 million, a decline of 19.9 million, uh, 19. Point, sorry, 19.9 percent compared to the same period last year. EBITDA margin for the quarter was our uh, EBITDA margin declined by 430 basis points compared to the same period last year. We were able to offset some input cost impact on EBITDA by cost rationalization primarily on account of trade cost savings. As on 30th September 2019, debt stood at 1679 million and cash and cash equivalent of rupees 182 million, resulting in net debt of 1497 million. Gross debt to equity ratio was 0.52x and gross debt to EBITDA ratio was 2.93x. Our mainline debt in Blackfoot remained relatively flat in quarter 2 FI 2020 at 6.1 lakh and 2.6 lakh cases respectively compared to the same period last year. The Power Cool brand recorded a growth of 9.5% year on year to 4.6 lakh cases. Overall, which recorded a growth of 5% year on year in quarter 2 FI 2020. Prolonged monsoon season provided us an opportunity to push more IMFL which is evident from the 80.2% growth year-on-year year, uh, to 3.2 lakh cases compared to the same period last year.